again, the tubules have many functions. And again, we think of renal function in terms of glomerular filtration, um, and we think of azotemia, the urine and creatinine concentration. But the renal tubules are involved with concentrating urine. Um, water is freely filtered at the glomerulus, and then the tubules reabsorb it um, throughout the entire length of the tubules. What we use then to determine how concentrated a urine sample is is we measure the urine-specific gravity by a refractometer, which is an indirect measure of the urine osmolality. Um, and the specific gravity is basically the weight of a volume of urine relative to the same weight of deionized water. And so when you look at the specific gravity of deionized water, it has a specific gravity of 1.000. Um, the uh, urine-specific gravity, then, is um, influenced by the abilities of the tubules to concentrate to dilute the urine, um, both by absorption of water, reabsorption of water, but also directly, like through ADH, but also indirectly by water being pulled along with other solids. When we uh, speak doctorese and talk about um, the urine-specific gravity relative to plasma, we use the terms isosthenuria hyposthenuria and hypersthenuria. What that means is the specific gravity is, um, is compared to what the specific gravity would be of plasma. And so plasma typically has an osmolality of 300 milliosmoles per kilogram, which equates to a specific gravity of around 1010, 1.010. So somewhere between 1.008, 1.012, give or take. And that's called isosthenuria, meaning Again, the osmolality and what we measure specific gravity of the urine is the same, iso, as plasma. So specific gravity and therefore osmolality less than plasma is hypothenuria. So this would be 1.000 to around 1.007. And hypersthenuria then is anything above that of plasma. So anything above a specific gravity of around 1012 to 1014. 